come back to camp and Jesse had to sleep and let the dogs have a bit of a nap. And we're gonna head out again, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> we'll show you what we take in the buggy with us when we go out. There's a bag. That's an expensive bag. <laughs> yeah, and all that. What what do we have in the bag? Scope guns. Bit of this stuff. Is it for dehorn and that? Works same as pink spray. Right. Zip ties. And a gel. We need to have that and cotton stuff, wherever it is. Oh, we got from Tougher Than Tusk. Yeah, got that off the now. Got hit, thought it would be. And mm -hmm. normally have that elastic. Oh yeah, this stuff's really good. I use it for horses. So we take, we normally take a little first aid kit with us in the buggy and then we have a big one. But this strapping stuff is really good which I will take it with us, but it's really good because it's real sticky and really firm. So we can use it. Hey, yeah. we can use it for a lot of things. And then we always take the camera, the big camera, obviously filming on the GoPro, and then a King's jump start, which is always really handy. And 2-2-3. Two, 2-2-3. Two, three. Two, two, three. In case you see Dingo or something. Wild dog, you should say these days. And then um, we always take little handheld UHS just in case. And then in the back, which we haven't taken the last few days and we thought it would be a good idea to do it, was the um, compressor. It's in here with the dogs. The compressor and then we've also got the ARB um, tire repair kit, which is really handy as well. So yeah, just some ideas, but if you have any other ideas that things we might be like might should take, I can't talk. <laughs> put, put it in the comments and give us some ideas, but yeah. Oh, and this water bottle is awesome. This is from Kmart. It is double insulated and we were out fishing the other day and it's like boiling hot on the outside and the water's still cold on the inside. So that's a good idea to take one of those with you. But yeah, we'll head out and see if there's anything around. Also, we got a really good quote from, um, was it Bull Bikes and Mackay for another seat here on the buggy? Five hundred dollars because it flew off when we were travelling one day. Anyway, how awesome is the seat making skills that I did? Yeah, see how uh, I got to sit on it too. So you get the good one. And a good old cushion there that FJ's had a scratch at to sleep on. But how good is it? It's better than si better than sitting on nothing in a hole in the hot. Get up. Get up. Get up. No boars this afternoon. FJ's getting the cuddle. Look at us dogs. <laughs> Honestly, got the donkey yarns. We can have another shower, but on the menu tonight is some roast veggies and some roast chicken. We're gonna try these out. See what they're like. Some potatoes in a can. Don't know, but apparently they're pretty good and they're easy to camp when you're camping. So yeah. Use your bum. <laughs> He looks cool. Chinese. <laughs> that chicken is perfect. So good. <laughs> what happened? Stow your chair. Look at her. That's cool. <laughs> she is not hopping off. Anyway, where are we off to today? Secret. So we're gonna go down to a place they call Fish Hole and see if we can get go for a flick anyway. See if we can get anything. Mm -hmm. What do you think they normally got in there? Uh, sooties and sleepy cod. So yeah, I haven't caught a sooty before, so that'd be pretty cool. And then we're gonna go up to they call it Honeycomb Hill where we got engaged. So that'll be really nice. We'll go up there and have another look, have a bit of a picnic. That'll be picnic. that'll be a bit cute. <laughs> And we'll take the dogs with us. 
on the way, but jam packed in here, got the snacks, got the bag, got the fishing rods and the gun, I'm squished. Good to go. This is fish hole, Jesse's just taking the train for a fly and there's heaps of freshwater crocs in here, which is pretty cool. Looks like a fish there. And then we'll go for a fish, I think, up there. the new tactic. <laughs> yeah. Well. It's your turn to catch a fish on this trip. Yeah, not a bloody eel. Come back, I'll get you. <laughs> Can't even catch a fish in the pond, are you hungry? <laughs> Just hooked a sorty. That'd be easy ten. Somewhere. Big fellas out there under that rock. He knows he's safe. Not big, but good fun. He really swallowed that soft plastic. You can see his little pink squidgy. I'm getting it. Get him! <laughs> Big dog. It's nice, is that hot? Swimming is that cute? She's loving it. See, it's nice and cool. How cool is it? And you don't have to swim. Nala. Nala. Here. Gypsy's got the hot feet. Get off the fucking sand. She's a dickhead. <laughs> After your rod. Oh, uh, yeah. Things <laughs> <laughs> I can't fix feels heavy on your chest. I wish I could carry the weight all on my back. have to walk all the way up it. It is pretty steep. I'm bugging. 
not even up the top yet. Oh, made it to the top. How cool is it? Hey, Jesse. Okay. Pretty cool. Yes, it is. Jesse proposed to me last year. How sweet. On our lucky girl. No. <laughs> no one comes here. No one will. No, so it's so nice. As soon as we got up here, he bloody was on my knee. I was huh, puffing it. But bloody nice. Send the drone up and see what we can see. Get a few pictures. And get off here, because it's hot. <laughs> I said come at sunset. I don't have time. <laughs> Whatever. Plenty of time. Plenty of time when you're on holidays. smokes like 20 diaries a day and it's so much better than me I don't know how <laughs> isn't it cool a good start and then we checked a daddy on the way back to camp good boar on it dogs hit him give gypsy a thanks for coming in the in her side and i don't know they went six 600 meters 500 meters and couldn't pull him up so definitely not a good night but that happens that's pigging it's not all ups there's a lot of downs but that's why you do it i suppose yeah, go again today, hopefully redeem ourselves. No sleeping. A lot of people say that you make pig dogs hunt, so I'll just show you. She doesn't want to. <laughs> She's the laziest pig dog you'll ever meet,
we were just driving the um, Sandy Creek bed and spotted this fella here and um, Nala and Gypsy floated and got him up here and yeah, got some good cuss. Redeemed ourselves from last night. And we just camped up under some trees in the sand and he was out of there pretty quick. But good dog, get us a drink. Where are Nala? What are you doing? Well, that's it for this episode, and that concludes our Cape York series. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it, so like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll go hunting without shy and catch a proper handy ball. See you in the next episode.